today's pep talk is on teaching kids responsibility. Oftentimes we tell our kids what to do, when to do, how to do from the time they get up. And what happens is they start to just tune us out and not do what they're asked to do and forget and do a lousy job because they don't feel responsible for what they're doing. When we when we give them, you know, lists and things to do and keep nagging and telling them, you know, 10, 15, 20 times, they just, they completely tune that out. And so the way to teach responsibility is to actually give responsibility. And until a child's given responsibility, they really don't uh, take the power and, and do what they're supposed to do. So how can you give responsibility to children versus teaching responsibility? Well, teaching responsibility is the talking about it. So when you notice that you're going on and on and saying, you know, how many times have I told you it's your responsibility to clean your room? You need to get your room cleaned up. Or how many times have I asked you to clean the dishes or set up the table or whatever it is? Any time that you have that speech, it's going to be interpreted as nagging, complaining. They're going to hear it as blah, 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 and they're going to tune it out. So how would you give responsibility? Well, one of the ways to do it is to just tell them one time what you expect them or want them to do and then leave them to it. And even say, you know, I really need for you to clean up your room. We're having company this weekend and it's really important that that happens. And is there anything that you need from me in order to make sure that you, you can get that done? And listen and see, maybe there's something that your child needs that you could provide that would help them be able, willing, capable of getting that room clean. And if it doesn't happen, instead of asking again, look at why am I not getting buy-in? Why am I not getting my child to do what they're supposed to do? And see if there's some part of how you asked, how you implemented that you could do differently. And one of the ways I would approach that with the child instead of saying, you know, I asked you to do this and you said you would do it and now you're not doing it, is to sit down and say, wow, you know, I, I noticed that we had this talk and I said, you know, would you please have your room clean and, and it's not finished yet. So, you know, is there something I communicated unclearly? Is there something that you need before you can get that done? You know, what's going on here? and be inquiring as to why it's not done. Why is there not buy-in? And see if you can find an answer, because in that answer will be your solution and what, what your child needs and what you can do to help them achieve the task. And by doing it this way, by really giving your child the responsibility and empowering them to be responsible themselves, that's how they become more and more responsible. So making sure that you're not carrying the responsibility for them. Make sure that you're turning it over and then coaching along the way. Coaching, 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 helping, supporting, being there for them. And you'll find that you'll get a much more responsible, helpful, respectful child. So have a great day.